I wanted to make this video for about three or four weeks now. Um, it was something that was very scary that happened in my life and I still don't really have an explanation for it. Things have kind of stopped, so that's why I feel comfortable talking about it now. But a while, while, while back, like a month, three to four weeks, whatever, I mentioned in a vlog that I didn't feel safe. I guess I should just tell you the story of what happened. I feel like I look really red in the camera. Anyway, so it's going to be a story time in case you couldn't tell. Um, everyone says that's really annoying. Shut up. Just get into the fucking story. I guess this could be like a warning on what not to do because I was really dumb and I know as soon as I get into talking about it, everyone is going to leave mean comments and... I already know that it was dumb. I don't need you guys being my internet parents. I already fucking know. So yeah, basically I have a computer right there and I also have my MacBook and I have two computers. One because I got that like three years ago because I wanted to Twitch game and I wanted to like get into gaming and stuff. I have that and then I have my MacBook because I've had that since I was 16. So, um, I have two computers. My MacBook doesn't really have that much space on it, so I have downloaded The Simple Life, my favorite show ever. I'm actually, like, re-watching it. I downloaded The Simple Life. I had to delete that, unfortunately, on my MacBook, and I was going to download it on that computer because that computer has, like, a lot of space. And this is where you shouldn't do what I did. Like an idiot... I didn't buy The Simple Life, I downloaded it from a website, which I'm not going to say. Yeah, it's not illegal, it's not legal to download from here, from there. Um, and it's a torrenting site, so if you're familiar with torrent, like torrenting, you probably can tell. It's like the most popular torrent site ever. And I'd always heard, like, be careful, like, you never know, like, if you download stuff like that, like, because I was reading on the internet when this stuff was happening that I'm about to get into, um, someone was like, I downloaded something from the same site and all this stuff started happening, and that's when I was like, I'm, a, I'm an idiot, like, I'm so dumb, but I mean, what else is new? Welcome to my life. Watch my videos, you can tell. I have no idea what I'm doing. I downloaded The Simple Life on that computer. I had downloaded it on my MacBook and everything was fine. Um, so I deleted it on my MacBook and I downloaded it on that one. This is where things start to go crazy. So I watched that documentary with one of the girls from Pretty Little Liars that was like a fake documentary about um cyber hackers who like hack into your computer and like will watch you on webcams which scares the fuck out of me and I literally get like goosebumps just thinking about like someone watching you on, like on your webcam without you knowing that entire movie scared the living shit out of me I suggest you watch it if you haven't seen it I don't remember the name of it but it is so scary it's about like yeah like cyber hacking and stuff so I had watched that uh, not that long before this happened I want to say three or four months ago I it was like a normal day everything was fine and then I noticed that this computer wouldn't turn on and it said that, I don't remember the error it said, but it said something was wrong with the driver. Meanwhile, I had had this computer for three years, two and a half years, like somewhere in between there, but I had, had it a very long time. I have never had an issue with this, and this was all after I had downloaded that tor torrent of The Simple Life. No issues ever. My computer wouldn't turn on like it it went to like this like blue screen with like an error message Which I've never seen before So I was like, okay, that's really weird. Um Whatever and then I go to log on my MacBook You guys the same error and I have never in my six years of having this MacBook Pro have ever had any issues with it And it said the same thing it would go to the same error screen and I was like, this is really weird. Like, what are the odds that on the exact same day, 
I would have gotten an error like that. And I do know that um, I had deleted some files. I had deleted some files on my MacBook and I, I'm pretty sure I started downloading The Simple Life on that too, just in case I, like, because I travel with my MacBook, just in case I want to watch The Simple Life, um, like, while I'm traveling or something. So, that's what, but at the time I didn't, like, connect the two that I downloaded the same files on both my computers. Yeah, my computer, my, both my computers were fucked and I was freaking out. I was really, like, upset. I kept looking up things. So, overall, I had to go buy, like, a new driver and, um, the Apple store, they just replaced, like, my hard drive for free. I don't know why. So, yeah, but I had to buy a driver for this one and then my MacBook was repaired for free. So... Then flash forward to last month. This is where like it got really fucking weird. I was, I am on my laptop in bed a lot. That's like what I love doing, watching YouTube at night. Like that's my shit. Um, and I had put my laptop on the, on the ground. Don't worry, it's not like on the carpet so it's not gonna bust into flames. But I put it on the ground like, the screen was still open, but I turned the brightness all the way down. The screen was still open, and it was facing me like this on the ground, though. And I was just sitting there in the dark. It was, like, 12 a.m., and all of a sudden, the screen flashed. And not just any type of flash. It flashed, like, when you take a screenshot flash. Guys, when that happened, I could not stop thinking of that fucking documentary like that is so creepy like luckily though my macbook has paper like a post-it note on the webcam i never use the webcam and everyone just was like i i saw on facebook like everyone was like cover your webcam like you never know so luckily my webcam was already covered but it it did like if someone was taking a screenshot. I was terrified because it flashed and then went back to black because I turned the brightness all the way down. I was having, I like literally went into a full on panic attack because I wasn't sure what was going on. And let me also preface that I didn't have any type of antivirus before that, before this. So again, this is, I guess, on me. Like I should have been smarter and not, you know have done that but so it did that one night and then the next night um at like 1 a.m it did the same thing and i was like okay this is fucking like creepy as shit i was just terrified i felt like so weird i felt like someone had been spying on me and stuff no i downloaded mcafee or whatever it's called for both or for that one and then i don't remember which one on the macbook but after I downloaded it on both of the computers, I haven't had problems since. So I have no idea what was going on. I am terrified if I was like on one of those deep web websites where like, because you guys, I don't know if you knew this or not, but there are like some websites in the deep web where it's dedicated to watching people on their webcams. Like that's all it is. It's just thousands of webcams of unsuspected people just like sitting in their house or like watching tv or whatever god knows what but bitch i'm not about to be one of those people no thank you so needless to say i'm pretty sure everything's taken care of i mean if anything else happens i will update you guys but i just thought that was so creepy especially with that documentary thing i saw like the ending of that documentary i'm not going to spoil it but, bitch, no, I was not ready for the ending of that documentary, and I was not about to be the next documentary that they make. So, yeah, oh, and I also was reading, like, an, oh, bitch, I was terrified. I also was reading that sometimes hackers can hack your mouse and, like, control it and, like, click on something. Like, and I know that on some cases I've, I read that, they were like writing, the hackers were like opening, would like click on like notepad or paint or something and like type messages. I would have a straight on heart attack if that happened to me. That is too much. Like that literally makes my skin crawl. That is so scary, bitch. Like I could just see like nice, um, nice, 
what color top is this nice um top you're wearing or like nice messy hair or whatever like that's so scary to think about like i don't know i also really like watching um deep web stories on youtube like videos so maybe it was too much of that all i know is the problem is gone and i feel way more safe than i do now but that was terrifying and i hope i never have to go through that again i'm never using that fucking website ever again let me know what you guys think has this ever happened to you i hope not i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye